everybody, you know what time it is. It's my favorite day of the week, New Comic Wednesday, October 9th, 2019. I'm Tony Morella. This is Yogi, my co-host, and you're watching Comic TV. We got a bunch of big, badass variants to show you today. But starting off, one of my favorite independent titles. This is from Image, and it's The Savage Shores, issue number five. Ram V is the writer on this, and man, you cannot ask for better writing. I would love for something like this to get made into a movie. I don't know if there's any plans for that yet, but wow, this story is great. And the art from Sumit, Sumit Kumar is excellent as well. So if you're not picking that book up, man, you're missing out. And those that recently spiked uh, on, the, uh, on the fuel of some movie rumors, so we'll see about that, I'm hoping. Coffin Bound number three. We got Danny Waters doing the writing on this and uh, Danny doing the art. And uh, man, this book is very unusual and I really like the art style. I've, I've seen this book hated on quite a bit, but I actually enjoy it. Some really bizarre stuff going on there. Definitely intended for a mature audience. So uh, buyer beware on that. Uh, Spawn 301. And that is the Todd McFarlane homage cover to that uh, Spider-Man 301, and that's a beautiful cover, and really all the covers. The covers for 301 were better than the covers for 300. Uh, we had a, a, a Sinkowitz cover that was awesome, a Jerome Pena, a Scott Campbell, some really nice ones that I had to leave behind, but the one that hurt the worst was the Jason Sean Alexander cover. I also got a Clayton Crane here to show you. Beautiful Clayton Crane, and a Matina Virgin, so we got a collection of artists doing this title right now. We got Jason Todd, uh, Jason Sean Alexander, we got Todd McFarlane, we got Clayton Crane, we got Jerome Pena, all doing interiors on this book. So, really badass uh, book. You don't get to see that many great artists on one title very often. So, definitely want to pick that book up. And uh, you also have the uh, first continuation of the She Spawn. So from Titan Comics, we got Blade Runner number four, and I believe there's gonna be a cable series of this, and all the content of these Blade Runner books are canon, so you definitely wanna be picking these up if you're specking on that Blade Runner series like I am. We got Michael Green doing a great job on the writing, and I really wanted to put this book down. Uh, I got a lot of titles that I'm reading, so I'm trying to cut back wherever I can. Uh, Mike Johnson's helping out as well on the writing on that book, and we got Andres Ginaldo doing the art. Love the art on that, love the tone of the book. And we got a Raphael Albuquerque cover that I don't really love very much. Neither do you, do you, though, do you, buddy? Oh, man, love this dog. So from Xenoscope, we got The Watcher number three. Pretty good book, and these Martino Mastrazzo covers have been badass. We got Ralph Tedesco and Victoria Rao doing the writing on that. And uh, we got Babisu Curtis. I don't know if I butchered that name or not, but that's the artist on that. Not bad art either. Uh, I, I think this book could have some legs, so might be one you consider checking out if you can find it. And there is a Jay Anacleto cover on that as well that I wasn't able to obtain. Hopefully in the future I'll run across that one like I have the others. So from DC Comics, we got Detective 1013. We got Peter Tomasi and Doug Mankey both back on that book. Man, I love these two together, man. They make a great pair. And that Tyler Kirkman cover says Trifecta. That is one of the deceased covers. And those deceased covers have been really awesome, but none better than the Francisco Matina covers from the regular deceased covers. And we got a buttload of Batman books out today. I don't know what the hell. Uh, is it Batman today? I thought that was a couple weeks ago. But we got Detective. We got Batman and the Outsiders. We got Batman Secrets of uh, Sinister House. $10 book, nope. We got Batman's Grave. We got Batman versus Ra's al Ghul. We got Batman double size Walmart style issue. And we got Batman Universe. Who needs that much freaking Batman? Holy crap, Batman. It's enough. Jesus. And that's not even counting the Catwoman, the Harley Quinn, uh, the Joker Harley, the Harley Poison Ivy. Come on. Space it out or something, man. Force feeding us all this freaking Batman, right, Yokes? Get too riled up, aren't it? All right, I'll simmer down. So, uh, anyway, Peter Tomasi, Doug Mankey on Batman. Tyler Kirkman cover. Can't beat that. And I uh, did pick up this Batman in the Outsiders. 
mainly because of the Steven Segovia cover, but I picked up the uh, first three issues of that series and it's pretty good and then it kind of fell off. So uh, maybe I'll jump back in this issue, but I hope not because I got enough comics as it is. We got Brian Hill doing the writing on that, and Dexter Soy doing a good job on the art, and as I said, that's Steven Segovia cover. Woo-wee! Another title I've been trying to drop is this cat one. We got number 16 here, and uh, that's a regular cover, and they've been great, giving us a great art germ cover every month, spoiling the hell out of us. But uh, you know what? Joelle Jones, her art style is unique. It is good. Uh, her stories are good. She's the first female artist to draw and write Batman. Uh, so, man, pick that up. It's a good title. Really good title. And dang it, I wish the Catwoman title was as good as the uh, Catwoman. Black Cat was as good as the Catwoman. That's what I'm trying to say. So, also from DC, we got Event Leviathan. I've been enjoying this series. That's the regular Maleev cover. Uh, Brian Michael Bendis has been doing a nice slow burn on that title, and it's been really good. Alex Maleev's uh, art is excellent. He does the cover on that as well, but I love me some Alex Maleev. Speaking of great artists, man, I think Yogi just couldn't decide which of these pairs that he liked best, but we got uh, Harley Quinn and Poison Ivy number two. First book I bought, they also had a uh, connecting art room cover. I bought it strictly for the cover. I read it. Pretty decent, actually. Not too bad at all. And we got us a Warren Lau cover. Woo-wee! That's a beautiful cover. Uh, before I forget, Jody Hauser's doing the writing on that. We got Adriana Mello doing the art. And pretty decent art as well. Uh, but more or less a cover by. And here is the Warren Lau Poison Ivy also. Woo! Mucho sexy. Hey, Gigi, don't be bumping the camera now. All right, now. Hopefully... Mama Gigi just didn't take me out of frame, but we're going to work with it. So we got Joker Harley, number one, Criminal Sanity. Wow, man, we got two heavyweight artists on this book. We got Mike Mayhew and we got Mike Miko Suyan, both of them big timers. And we got a Matina cover to boot, so holy crap, man. That book looks excellent. The art inside, photo quality. I mean, honestly, sometimes you're not sure if you're looking at art or photo it's that good so uh it's joker harley uh number one from the dc black series and we got cammy garcia doing the writing on that and i've heard really good things on that book so i hope you picked that one up and there were uh, three covers on that there was a, a su yan and a mayhew cover also but i think i got the best one with the matina so from marvel we got dr doom number one i was going to bypass this title but i could not bypass this mike diodato jr cover that one is classic and uh, we got christopher cantrell doing the writing on that and salvador la Roca doing the art and he's no slouch so i've heard good things about this title nice little buzz going on that so i'm hoping i'm hoping i'm glad i picked it up but i don't think i can go wrong with that cover so a title I've been given the boot, and I almost gave it the boot again today. We got Amazing Spider-Man number 31, but I can't stand Nick Spencer's writing. I can't stand Ryan Otley's art. I mean, his art would be good for something else, but not this title. Does not fit the tone to me at all. And this title has just been uh, spinning its wheels. A whole lot of nothing going on, really. And uh, I'm getting a little bit weary of all the absolute carnage tie-ins and whatnot. It's just kind of more of the same. And it was good for a while, but I'm, I'm ready to wrap it up, so... Anyway, the reason I picked this book up after slamming it, it is for this uh, MJ Smallwood variant, and that is the only reason I got it. So I can't believe that I'm boycotting the main Spider-Man title because he's definitely one of my favorites. But the best Spider-Man title going right now, other than the, uh, the Spider-Man title that uh, Abrams just put, uh, put out, but uh, I'll get to that. Uh, but we got uh, Miles Morales. That's uh, number 11. Saladin Ahmed is doing the writing, and we got uh, Iguara doing the art inside, and that is a Hawthorne and David Curiel cover, and I've been enjoying this title a lot, so I hope you're on it. Also, we got White Fox number one. We got Alyssa Wong doing the writing on that. We got Kevin Lebranda doing the art, and uh, Giafo. Uh, that is an in hook lead cover, and that is the only reason I got that, is for those sexy Asian lips smooching that chip. And that is a really beautiful cover, all kidding aside. But overall, those whole Agents of Atlas series have been a big dud for me. Uh, I don't know if they're doing good in the Asian countries, but man, it just really kind of bland. A lot of the powers of the uh, characters in it are redundant, so I don't know. 
So man, I can't wait to read this book. We got Powers of X, number six of six, the final issue of the Powers and House of X. And uh, man, woo, this title has been good. Got me so pumped up for the new X-Men titles coming out. I hope they don't dilute it like they have been in the past, but there's a few of them that I'm definitely gonna pick up and give a good chance to. Jonathan Hickman just knocking it out of the park on the writing on that. We got R.B. Silva matching him on the art, and that is the regular R.B. Silva cover. Also coming out today, we had the Joker number one. I'm waiting on the Ryan Brown cover in the mail, but that's written by John Carpenter. We also had the Cobra Kai Karate Kid issue came out today. And I told you about all the Batman issues that came out today. It's pretty ridiculous. Uh, did not get the Absolute Carnage Miles Morales, even though it was a Clayton Crane cover. Uh, we also had a couple of first appearances. Miss Marvel number eight had the first appearance of Monopoly. We had Gotham City Monsters had the first appearance of Red Phantom. Uh, we had Hellmouth number one. That's a Buffy title. There was a Jenny Friesen variant on that. And also Ice Cream Man and Reaver, two popular independent titles came out today that I missed the boat on. Well, I didn't miss the boat on Reaver. I just didn't like it. I got the first couple of issues and gave it the boot. And I've tried out Ice Cream Man here and there, but honestly, I, I just don't see what all the buzz is about. But a lot of people love it, and I think there's gonna be a series on it. So probably a good book to spec on, but not for me. So uh, I got one more book I'm gonna uh, have to get up and show you because I forgot to put it in my pile. But hold on one second, Yokes. I'm gonna grab it. I guess Yoki said show's over, buddy. So we got us another Shannon Meyer big banger. And I was telling you about that Spider-Man one. I told you I'd get back to it. Look at that cover. Woo! You know what could you know what could only be better than that cover? This is super sexy. A version. Also got us a little certificate of authenticity. Is there a number on this? I don't know. Can you see that number? Looks like 75, but I don't know. One of 600 available. It looks like number 75, but man. There is also a black and white. I think it's a New York City Comic Con exclusive. I don't know, but I, I hate it when they put out other exclusives of the same uh, exclusive uh, variant. It really pisses me off, but uh, I like the color version anyhow, but that black and white is pretty sweet. Anyway, that's all I got for you today. Please join us every Wednesday for all the hottest comics and newest variant covers and comic talk in general. Or if you just come for the, for the dog, Yogi will be here too. But look down and hit that like button. It really helps my channel out. Please subscribe and hit your notification uh, button so you'll get all the hottest comics and the quickest news possible. So uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks.